So this is a demonstration of Ulink NT connected JTAG uh, on the modem. And in this example, it is 5101, but uh, the same idea applied to all the JTAG. And especially for the MIPS JTAG, 5101 or 5100 will be the same. So you have the power here, you have the board, you have the Ulink NT, and you want to make the connection. Very, very, very important is you should never have the board plug in the uh, power here, and then you're trying to make the connection. That is a, for sure you'll kill the Ulink NT, okay? So when you make the JTAG connection, uh, you should have no power here and no power there as well. That's why for beginner, I always suggest people solder the pin head instead of using so-called uh, the solderless or pogo pins. But for advanced users, they know what they are doing. They are less likely to uh, screw things up. But if you are a new user, I highly suggest you solder the pin header here and then make the connection. So again, do not power the modem. Okay, so take out the power, take up from the USB PC and then make the proper connection. Now let's talk about the connection. How to connect the JTAG to the PCB here. So where's the pin one? So flip the board here and there's a 10 holes here. One of the hole is square. The rest of the holes are rounded and that is pin one. Okay, so in here, this is upside down in this direction and pin one is on the low left side. But when you flip over here, this becomes pin one. So the name of the pin one for MIPS is TRST and then TDI, TDO, TCK, uh, TMS and TCK. So on the diagram we can, we can tell and this has color coded. So the first pin here is TDI. So TDI goes to pin three here. And the next pin is TDO, which is uh, orange. Here we go pin five. The next pin is TMS, which is purple, and go here, and next pin is TC, uh, TCK, which is green, go here. So now next pin is the TRST, which is uh, IO4, uh, it's gray, and goes to pin one. So another pin is ground, and go to any of the pin, ground pin. So this is how I connect it. Again, no power to the modem, no power to the USB, and then you can plug in the US uh, power here, and you, you know, give, uh, go to the USB first, or power on first, that does not really matter too much. For me, myself, I always have the USB plug in first, and then I, instead of direct power here, I have a, a power bar with a switch. So that's, what I do, and I had never had a problem to kill the Ulink NT. So again, no power on both sides, make the connection, and they go on. The reason you use solder is, is more like to kill is sometimes connection is not stable. So let's say you want, you want to detect and fail, then you're trying to wiggle it. When you wiggle it, you are doing the same as the hot plug, is you're trying to make the connection while both sides have power. So that's a very dangerous. So beginner, again, solder the pin head on it and do not use uh, the solderless things. If you do use solderless, never wiggle while there is a power. So if there is a power, no wiggle. So try and wiggle and give power. Um, I hope this video explains how to make the connection as well as um, the safety. You know, you, you do not want to get the link and immediately burn it. Uh, if you do, I'm not sure if it's burning or not. I have another video that's talking about diagnosed, you know, this pin head are good or not. Because each pin is uh, connected to the CPU and the CPU has some certain limitation. You cannot inject like 12 volts from the pin here. It will kill it, right? And old days, people will have anti-static mat here and even yourself will be grounded. And, and you can watch the video. This is called anti-static uh, mat. 
and I have that too. But you know, typically for average user, if you follow some basic uh, rules, then it's safe. Otherwise, you know, you kill the modem or you kill the link without even see any fires, and it's it's gone.